Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I thought I'd share three easy lunches, packed lunches that take no more than sort of 15-20 minutes to put together. And they all have one thing in common, they all have chickpeas. It's probably my favorite pulse, I would say. It's something that I eat a lot of. And um, yeah, I put together three recipes that I want to share with you. So there's going to be a sandwich, a salad and a hummus bowl. All can be packed up really easily and take, uh, taken with you on the go to work or to school or just packed up and stored in the fridge for you to pop out when you need it. So let's get started. And the first thing we'll make is the sandwich, which is a really fresh lemon and dill chickpea salad sandwich. So without further ado, let's get started. To make a chickpea salad that serves about two people, I start by adding a can of chickpeas that's been drained and rinsed to a mixing bowl. And then I use my pinchers just to break it up into a flaky consistency. I set that aside and grab a hold of a quarter cup of loosely packed fresh dill and chop that up really finely. I also like to use a small bunch of fresh chives in this recipe as well. That just needs to be chopped up finely too, but you could also replace this with half of a red onion finely chopped. Next, to add lots of zingy flavor, I use a microplane to zest in the skin of one lemon. And I'm also adding in about one to two tablespoons of lemon juice. You can decide how much you add depending on your taste preference. And then to make it nice and creamy, I'm adding in two and a half tablespoons of vegan mayonnaise, as well as two and a half tablespoons of vegan Greek style yogurt. You could use any slightly thicker vegan yogurt here. I'm also adding in one tablespoon of grainy mustard, which adds lots of lovely flavor. And I'm seasoning it with salt and pepper before mixing it all up to combine. You could use any bread you like for the sandwich. I could recommend a nice rye bread or here I'm using a seeded gluten-free bread. I also like to spread a little bit of vegan margarine on the bread before I add some greens, but that's up to you. I use about a handful of baby greens on each sandwich and then I top that up with half of the chickpea mixture before I close it up with the other slice of bread. And it's a very simple sandwich. You could of course add other veggies like tomato or cucumber and I also like to serve it with a nice apple on the side just to make it more filling but it's definitely a good lunch as is. What I really like about this sandwich is that it's got this sort of fresh flavor with the lemon and the dill, but it's also kind of hearty and satisfying, which I think is perfect for this time of year when we're sort of in between the summer warms and the autumn cold. So you've got the best of both worlds here. Before we move on to the next recipe though, I want to thank Squarespace and tell you a little bit more about them. Squarespace is an all-in-one website builder with lots of great tools to make it easy to build a beautiful and well-functioning site without any previous knowledge about coding or website building. Personally, I've used Squarespace to create my online food photography portfolio and I really like that it is so easy and intuitive to use. There are plenty of themes, font combinations and color combos on Squarespace to get you started and there are themes for many different purposes so it's great for everyone from business owners and e-commerce all the way to creatives and bloggers. So if you're thinking about creating a website for any purpose, check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your site go to squarespace.com forward slash good eatings for 10% off your first website or domain. Okay, so now let's move on to making the salad, which is a super fresh salad with a lot of green veg, as well as the chickpeas that will make you full and satisfied. And it's also got apple for a little bit of sweetness, which I think is nice in a salad. And then I'm also going to make a lemon vinaigrette, which really brightens everything up. So this is a kind of singy, fresh salad and it packs up great for lunch. So let's make it. 
I like to start by making the vinaigrette for this recipe first. So I squeeze the juice of half a lemon into a small mixing bowl or you could use a jar if you prefer. This will serve as our acid for the vinaigrette. And then I go in with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is the fat which brings together all the flavors. Then I'm pouring in half a teaspoon of agave syrup and adding one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, which acts as an emulsifier. And then I'm going in with one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, just for a little bit of extra savory flavor. And I'm also adding in half a teaspoon of garlic powder, seasoning with salt and pepper, and then just mixing it up until it's well combined. I like to use a whisk to do this, but if you're using a jar, of course just put the lid on and shake it up until it's well combined, and then just set that to the side. To get started on the actual salad, I'm grabbing 150 grams of dino kale or cavolo nero, and again this will serve two people. I just strip the leafy bits off from the stem and then I'm gonna just slice that up really finely and massage it with some of the dressing. Massaging the kale just softens it up a little bit and makes it more easy to chew and digest. But what's great about kale in a lunch salad that you will pack up is that it stays firm and fresh for a long time. You definitely won't have any soggy leaves in your lunchbox when you use kale. Once the kale is nice and tender, just set it to the side and grab a hold of half of a head of fennel. Cut off the pokey bits and then just quarter that half. But leave the stem a little bit intact, which makes it easier to cut. And then just slice it really finely, which makes a nice crunchy addition to the salad. The third and final veggie to prepare for the salad is a courgette or a zucchini, which is in season right now and in abundance. And I like to just shave off slices of the zucchini using a vegetable peeler. This just makes a fun shape in your salad. And I add that to the bowl as well before slicing up an apple to add a little bit of sweetness and crunch and fun to the salad. So I like to just slice it up really finely and I like to use a green apple, which is a little bit more tart. Once all my fruit and veg is in the bowl, I add one can of drained and rinsed chickpeas in there as well, along with the rest of the dressing, and then I just toss that to combine. And this is actually the salad done. It looks very simple and very green, but I promise you it's really yummy and fresh and singy and has a nice bite to it. So definitely try it even if you're not into green salads. For a little extra interest though, definitely sprinkle some toasted and salted salad savory seeds onto the top of the salad. You can make my umami seed mix for this. It works really well. I'll link it down below or you could just use a store-bought version of course. All right, so now that we've got a sandwich and a salad under our belt, let's make something that is maybe the most obvious from chickpeas and that is hummus because chickpeas were pretty much made for hummus, I think. And um, this dish is very simple. We're going to make an easy hummus that I make all the time. I have the recipe on my website already. And of course I'll link everything down below for you as usual. And then we're gonna top it with some harissa and lots of herbs and uh, serve it with some bread. It's uh, easy to make, it's delicious. And again, it packs up great in a lunchbox. So let's get going. To make a hummus that serves two to three people, I use two cartons or cans of chickpeas that's been drained and rinsed, and I add that to my food processor along with a quarter cup of tahini. Next, I add in the juice of one small lemon or half a large juicy lemon. You can of course use more or less here, just go with your preference. I also add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, but if you prefer you could use water. And I'm also adding in one clove of garlic, just chopped up finely into the food processor bowl. Finally, I 
just season with a little bit of salt and close the bowl with the lid and then process this for five minutes or so. I like to add in some ice cubes while the processor is going one by one, sort of one a minute. And of course you could multitask with other things while this is going. And if you find after the ice cubes that it's still a little thick, add a splash of water and process for a little bit longer until you reach your preferred consistency. It should be nice and smooth and not too thick, but of course not runny at all. I set the hummus aside while I prepare the salad topping and I'm using 250 grams of uh, cherry tomatoes. I use different colors but you do you. You can cut them into halves or quarters depending on their size and then just add them to a little mixing bowl. To give the salad a little bit of bite, I use some spring onion. Two spring onions is good for this amount of tomatoes and I just slice that up really finely and add that to the bowl as well. And then for the herby part, I'm adding half a cup of fresh mint leaves, loosely packed, and I just remove the leaves from the stem, clean them and sprinkle them into the salad. I'm also adding in half a cup of loosely packed flat leaf fresh parsley and doing the same thing with them as with the mint. Finally, I squeeze over a little bit of lemon juice just to preserve it and to make it a little bit more singy and seasoning it with salt, then tossing to coat everything and we're ready to plate up or pack into a lunchbox, whichever you're going for. Whether it's in a lunchbox or in a bowl, spread the hummus on the bottom. And I like to use a little bit less than half of this batch of hummus to serve one person. But maybe you need a little bit less or a little bit more. That depends on your appetite, of course. Then to add a little bit of spice, I'm adding in a half a teaspoon of harissa paste into each bowl or lunchbox. But you'll need to adjust this to your spice level because it can be pretty spicy. Then you can layer on the salad. You can split this in two or three portions, something like that. And I also like to sprinkle over some toasted sunflower seeds. Then to complete this meal, I serve it with some pita bread. Just pack it up separately if you're taking the lunch with you or just serve it on the side, ready to dip into all that deliciousness. You could also have things like pickles on the side. It goes really well with this. So those were my three easy packed lunch ideas, all centered around chickpeas, but with sort of different touches, flavors, and ideas behind them. I hope you enjoyed watching me make them. I hope you will make them. And of course, I hope you will enjoy eating them. And now I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.